Hi students, in this lesson we will discuss about what are those various pseudocode conventions used at the time of writing an algorithm. In our last lesson we have discussed what is the difference between a pseudocode and an algorithm. So I just request you to watch that video first and then come back to this lesson. With this you will clearly come to know about this concept okay uh, so now here i have listed down the points uh, so first point is saying give a valid name to the pseudocode procedure okay so whenever you are writing a pseudocode then it's must that you should give a valid and meaningful name to that pseudocode okay so by reading the name of that pseudocode itself reader will come to know what is the purpose of that pseudocode okay so that is the one uh, convention that you need to follow so here you can see i have written an example of making a sum of all the elements inside a loop okay uh, so now i have given a name for the pseudocode as make sum uh, and now the second point says use the line number for each line of code okay so whenever you will be writing an pseudocode you need to mark each and every line of your pseudocode with the line number in this way okay and then third convention is use proper indentation for every statement while writing the pseudocode itself you need to apply proper indentation to your pseudocode so with that indentation a reader can easily come to know where your if for while loop have started and where those things got ended okay suppose you have started your for loop here okay and then inside for loop if you want to start an if then just put a space and then start if okay and then bracket and then here if gets closed okay so inside the if if you want to use a while statement then again put a little bit of space and then use while okay so now in this code you can clearly come to know this for loop has started here and it ends here okay so how much your code comes between this for loop you can easily read that code you can easily come to know about that code so now this if has started and ended here okay and inside this if we have a while loop and you can clearly come to know uh, here with the help of this indentation where your if has started and where it has ended and how much code you have written inside the if block okay and here while and while gets ended okay so this way of uh, writing the code will help you to read the code properly to understand the code properly and find the errors in the code that thing you need to take care at the time of pseudo code so that is what use proper indentation for every statement next is use flow control statements such as if else while writing the pseudo code you just need to take care that you will be using such control statements like if else if else ladder all those things in your pseudo code next is uh, always and an if with and if okay so here you can see instead of using these brackets you can use and for and for okay and instead of using this floor bracket for if you can use and if and for this while you can use and while Okay. Since here you are writing a pseudo code and pseudo code is not a formal way of writing an algorithm. It's just an informal or unsystematic or unofficial way of writing an algorithm and it's more like an English language which can easily be understandable. So you can follow this way of writing the code or pseudo code. Okay. Uh, yes, that's what they have mentioned here. Always and an if with and if. Okay. If you are using if then always end that if with and if if you are using for then close that for with and for and if you are using while then close that while with and while okay uh, now the next one is use equal 
or arrow operator for assignment statement okay so whenever you are making a small calculations in your algorithm where you are assigning the value of one variable to some another variable and where you are making a sum and you are assigning that sum to some other variable so here you can see that okay so i have use equal or you can in place of equal you can use arrow symbol as well okay or you can use arrow here as well okay so uh, you can use arrow and equal operator for assignment statements next one is uh, use looping constructs such as for while with proper and for and, and while okay so that what we have discussed here in the case of this example okay so wherever you will be using looping constructs like for while and do while it's better to use this and for and while and and do while so which gives meaning to your uh, pseudo code and here as you can see here i have written down an example which will give you an idea about how you can write a pseudo code okay so here i have given a name to the pseudo code as make some and i have assigned value of 0 to this variable s that's what i have written here set s is equals to 0 and then i have used a for loop and inside that for loop i am iterating over the element again and again and i will be adding that element with the value of 0 and then i will be incrementing and then i will be adding the element with the uh, new value of s and finally i will be making some and then i will be returning that same okay uh, so this is a way how you can write an pseudo code uh, so this is everything about pseudo code conventions which are used at the time of writing an algorithm okay uh, so i hope you guys have understood so it's a very simple topic with a little bit of explanation and that's all for this lesson guys and i will see you guys in my next lesson and thanks for watching